Hi everyone, Paolo here. Welcome to the channel where I make how to videos. It's time to share what I've learned and I'm back with another Unreal Engine tutorial. In this video, we're going to learn how to import character models as static meshes. Let's go. So here I'm using Blender. I created this simple model. Um, it's using uh, basic objects and on the material section here I'm just using b basic materials so there are no textures in this model so let me export this so if I go to file export and select FBX I'm gonna select all the defaults here now jumping to Unreal Engine here if I open up the content drawer, I already created a folder called Blender Guy in here. This is where I'm gonna import the FVX file that I created. So here, if I drag this FVX file here, I'm gonna be prompted with this FVX option. So make sure that the skeletal mesh is unticked. And there's an option on the advanced here to combine meshes. So I'm gonna show you first what this does uh, with it set to false. And also scroll down at the material area down here you have options to create new material new instance material or do not create a material so for this one I want to create a new material so when I import this this is what I'll get I'll get the materials created for me and I'll get the static meshes individually because I didn't take the option combine so there's depending on how you model it if you combine your model in a blender combine this all and then you import it would import as one static mesh but if you want to import it as one static mesh without um, combining them in blender this is what you could do so I'll go ahead and delete this and go back to here to my finder drag and drop make sure skeletal mesh is untick and make sure combined meshes is thick when I do that and import back to my finder here, you would see that it's only created one static mesh for me. Everything's combined. Cool. So that's one way to import uh, characters as static meshes. So now let's jump into here. So this one is from Sketchfab. So this one is an animated character and it's also been rigged. Um, if you want to import this as just a static mesh, this is what you would do. So go ahead. I'll drop a link on this guy if you want to follow along. I already downloaded this guy in here. So back to Unreal Engine here. I'll create a new folder. Um, I'll just create a new folder called Bear. And I'll import this. So when you download this, you get an FBX file and you also get textures. So if I drag and drop this here, making sure that skeletal mesh is unticked. So if, because, because this is rig, it already has a skeleton on it. But if you untick this, it would just import it as static mesh. Make sure combined meshes is still thick or else it would import it as individual uh, static meshes, just like the Blender guy. And down here, even though it says create new materials is selected here, if I click on import, it will just create the model. And when I open that, it's just going to have this uh, default world grid material on it. So to have the texture on it, I'm going to create a new folder here called texture. And drag the texture that's in here drag it like so and I'm gonna create a new material so I'm just gonna create a folder here called material just to keep it clean right click select material let's call this M bear open that up and grab the texture from that download drag it in here so each one of these links up to the node here so you could look at the uh, texture here 
as a reference so this one goes to the base color this one is the AO or am, uh, ambient inclusion so if I connect it like that and this one is the normal so this connects to the normal here and this one is for the roughness so this connects to here I save that um, go back to my model here and I could select that new material there you go so that's it that's a quick and easy way on how to import uh, characters as static meshes or, and how to fix the texture as well cool hope you like this tip uh, thumbs up thumbs down please subscribe to the channel cheers bye for now